All right, in this video, we're gonna use Desmos in order to show transformations of the absolute value function. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up Desmos and go over here and type in the original parent function, which is y equals. And if you bring up the little keyboard, you can get the absolute value function. We'll type in absolute value of x. And what I have here in blue is our parent function. So you can see that it's a V shape and it's got its vertex here at zero, zero. Now we're gonna do transformations of it. So we're gonna type in y equals, and we're gonna type in some uh, variables here. So I'm gonna type in a absolute value, x minus h inside, and then plus k on the outside. And then I'm gonna add sliders. You could do this as well. So the sliders allow you to experiment to see how these variables would change everything. So you can see uh, right now, Let's, let's just move this to zero. If you want to change these, you can. You can just type in a number. Oops, I got it. So we can type in k equals zero. All right, so right now I, in the green one, I have basically the absolute value of x minus one. So you can see that if you have minus one inside the absolute value, it's going to move it to the right one space. And as I slide it, uh, oops, I was sliding A. As I slide H, there is absolute value of X minus two. It's moved two to the right. And absolute value of X minus three has moved three to the right. If I make H negative, it moves it to the left. That's the same as if I would have Y equals absolute value of x plus 3. So that, you can see, is, is exactly the same. So if I have a plus inside the absolute value, it's going to move it to the left. And then, of course, k here is going to move it up or down. So it's plus k on the outside. So if it is plus, uh, you know, 2, it's going to move it up 2. And if it is minus two on the outside, it's going to be moving down two. The A here, you can see, is going to make it skinnier. It has a vertical stretch. If A goes above one, it stretches more and more. And if we have something between zero and one, it gets wider. We have a vertical compression. And if we go negative, the same thing applies. If it's between zero and negative one, then we have a vertical compression and a reflection down. And if it is less than negative one, then we have a vertical stretch and a reflection. So hopefully that helps and you can put all these pieces together and transform your function.